Hi, this is Sally Joe with Garf. And this is the fourth reef challenge. 125 gallon reef tank. We took out a lot of the rock already. We were busy, busy making the lights for it. We do have an eel in here, so we have to be careful with our hands and where we put things. These aptasias, the best thing in the world to do for them is just absolutely remove the rock with them on or cut them off the rock and put the rock back in. And they do make babies, so it's best to get those out. Got a beautiful sponge here. And one thing I learned with Leroy visiting our wild reefs is that you need to put the rock the way that you found it. Like in, in the ocean, when you turn over a rock, you need to turn it back over the way it was. Otherwise, you'll kill everything that was living underneath it. So this sponge will be kind of a centerpiece, but it will not be directly up in the light. And the tang can stay in there. And I have another beautiful dory tang in here. And some damsels. And a big eel. But he's gonna stay. He came out to see me yesterday. And then there's a squirrel fish. We rescued him. We've had him for, oh gosh, 10 years maybe. We named him Donnie after the friend of Leroy's that ended up tearing down his tank and needed to find a home for the fish. And he's lived through everything. Come say hi, Donnie. Yep, that's Donnie. He doesn't hurt anything. Ha, he'll probably eat every permit and sn snail we put in there, so we'll see how that goes. We just use bigger janitors. So it's looking pretty good, don't you think? This is day one. After removing the rock, we'll put some more rock in there. And we'll keep you posted on this. This is Sally Joe at Garf, G A R F dot O R G, or you can call us 1 800 600 6163. Another problem we're going to have is the lights. The sunlight's going to shine in here and it might cause some problems, but we'll keep our eye on it and we'll talk to you as it goes along.